What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Crypto here. Time to talk Luna Classic. It's once again on a massive rally, hitting a 13% move. USTC not too bad either. But what's going on? Why are we seeing these massive moves on Terra Luna Classic? And is it back? We're going to break down a couple of things in this video. Why are we moving? And more importantly, that USTC repeg, just understanding exactly what that module maker truly, truly means. So if you're bullish on Luna Classic, you want to see more videos like this, smash that like button. You guys have been killing it recently and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And with that being said, let's take a global look at the market right now. Interestingly, we actually had a little bit of a rally on Bitcoin it is just pulling back. I'm going to refresh the screen right now. 2.29% the overall cryptocurrency market. Up. You can see Bitcoin now just below that 38,000 mark, but 2% up on the day. So we actually have a pretty good move, albeit we had some ETFs postponed, which is a general occurrence right now, as well as a couple of other bits and pieces around the news but we do know if we scroll down the list all the way to the 70s we see 73rd highest ranked cryptocurrency is terra luna classic holding nicely burning off that zero and then equally holding around that 11 4 range nearly 12 percent up on the day the important bit is look at the volume 264 million dollars and our market cap around that 661 so still very much aligned to this market move right now but equally still behind where we have been where we've seen billions of dollars worth of volume and i think that's always worthwhile noting now what is interestingly uh, excuse me what is interesting when you look at the history of terra luna classic we saw some massive volume in here yesterday and equally we saw a pretty big move up in the price which is all good news you can see here where we currently list uh, and a couple of people have been asking me where do i can where can i buy it ultimately where can i get it you can get it on mexi there is a link in the description if you want to sign up to there and again you can trade this on futures as well there is also that link down there for mexi so overall good news when it comes to luna classic it continues to move we'll take a look at that price action in just a minute but as we talked about terra luna classic breached the three zeros one one four key roadblock with an intraday high of the three zeros one two nine but the breakout proved premature lunk still broadly bullish the price could take another 15% swing at the key barrier amid outstanding USTC hype. And it comes after Luna Classic Labs acquired 25.6 million USTC worth about half a million dollars. Now, there is an announcement that this turns out to not be true. Unless anyone can tell me otherwise, I've been reached out by a couple of people. So thank you to those people that did reach out to me. This turns out to not be true. Now, is the debate here market manipulation? I'm not sure, but we don't believe Luna Classic Labs has acquired this. Again, this is uh, not true. But for me, this wasn't the sentiment that we saw what we do know is ultimately we saw a massive removal in certain validators and redelegation to key validators along with that dynamic tax point and don't forget the perpetual futures on Binance. That is another big step where we see USTC getting a further pairing, which has driven the excitement on Luna Classic. And I think that is absolutely very, very important. And what it does show, in my opinion, is this absolute desire for Luna Classic to still be a big player. This money waiting on the sidelines for any metric that starts to move it. You can see there, the relative strength indicator above 70 shows Lunk is overbought, which explains the current stagnation and looming pullback as bulls look to refresh. Traders with long positions may consider keeping them open for at least now as the RSI could bounce above 17 and break or close. Below 70 would be an ideal signal for both profits. And we saw a massive rally outside of that downward trend of moving up. Like I said, we'll take a look at the technicals in just a minute. And I think a lot of it driven ultimately by this, which is the repeg. And again, talking about how it's going to repeg. Remember, this isn't about putting USTC to a dollar. This is about making sure that the algorithmic part of it does work, repegging it to two cents. 5 cents, 10 cents. Go and check my previous video out where we go into a bit more detail of exactly what that looks like, but it is important. And for me, this is true decentralization, dynamic tax for validators and equally people coming up with solutions. Now, remember, Redline was the original one that talked about repegging USTC, but ultimately was a different part, I guess, removing the reliance on centralized exchanges, as it says here. There is obviously still some work throughs to do with this repeg, but it is important. And what does that do? It drives sentiment. It drives excitement. We see another decent burn of 132 million on chain likewise USTC gets a 344,000 burn all at the same time we continue to accumulate in our community wallet and like I said we see this re return of staking over a billion Luna Classic restaked on the network can only be a good thing now in terms of the price what have we got well on the four hour we saw this another massive spike breaking that downward trend on Luna Classic this downward trend here and topping out around that excuse me oh this is Bitcoin fuck 
So what do we see in terms of the price of Luna Classic? Well, once again, another big spike up and a small sell-off, which is good news. This was obviously the Terra Classic Labs debacle, which turned out to be not true. But actually, everything is looking pretty bullish right now. And we are significantly above this trend and above a lot of the key indicators hovering around that 11.4 range. Do we see a further push in line with the market? Quite possibly, I think, as Bitcoin maybe pushes down, people would naturally look to maybe get into something like Luna Classic or some of those other coins. USTC not faring quite as well albeit still in an upward trend as this moves on remember the two things will be intrinsically linked and i heard a very interesting statement that talks about ustc ultimately will only ever be a dollar it could only ever get to that dollar if we're in the ambition of what we want to do luna classic has a much bigger potential and truly could be one of those coins that comes back. A lot of people have walked away from this. A lot of people would call us mad. But in my opinion, this shows the desire and sentiment that sits around Luna Classic for it to be in the position it was around that bottom 7.5 range to exploding as high as 12.5 in the matter of hours. Shows the sentiment and ultimately the desire for Luna Classic. And there could even be more upside to come. We'll keep you up to date as always on this channel, but let me know in the comments down below, what do you think? Do you think the Terra Classic Labs is a load of nonsense? And do you think there is more upside to come for Luna Classic? As ever, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.